Meow. Meow. Boo kitty cat. Would you like to tell everybody good kitten? Oh, I don't think the microphone's picking up her purse. That's unfortunate. Also, immediately after I stopped recording, my trackball stopped working because it ran out of battery. Uh, unfortunately, trackballs are wireless now, and that means they have batteries. Oh, wow, this thing needs cleaning. I can see the random scruff from my hands that need to be cleaned off of the trackball. I'm just using a portable battery charger to charge it because I don't have any open USB ports right now. Good kitten internet. <sighs> Where we last left off, um, we are researching my machine interface. We are doing fairly well in the kicking ass and taking names department. We are barely breaking even with our mindworm based economy, which is good because we're not producing money in any other way right now. Um, <laughs> we're starting to break away more from Proven Lull. We are doing great on the faction dominance graph, and we have everything except for territory now. We even have money. That's probably because Morgan's about to die. Maximum population reached. Um, Morgan declared vendetta on the peacekeepers. Are you stupid? I mean, I know the answer to that, but still, why? Why are you seriously? Why? Oh, yeah. Shouldn't they be giving me a map? Okay, they gave me a map. Is that seriously your only base? And it has no garrison? You're an idiot, Morgan. You're gonna die. Hey, lol. Sup? Uh, trading. Industrial automation for presentient algorithms? Sure. Begin with a function of arbitrary complexity. Feed it values. Sense data. Then take your results, square it, and feed it back into your original function, adding a new set of sense data. Continue to feed your results back into the original function ad infinitum. What do you have? The fundamental principle of human consciousness. Academician Prokhor Zaharov. The feedback principle. So for reference, we actually do that with technology today. Um, we did not really do that all that much back when this game was made, but um, any of those fancy AI algorithms that you feed things into and get very weird pictures out of or titles of things and so on, that's what that is. That's exactly what they're talking about when it comes to presentient algorithms. The main difference is that in this case, they're talking about something sensory. Um, so it's probably more similar to um, how automated driving works. Anyway, it's kind of neat. But I'm a little concerned about the fact that Lol had that tech, which means Lol could be build Hunter Seeker and I don't want him to have it. Um, no, I'm not going to give you a tech for free. Yes, I'm aware that you're not going to like my collaboration with Morgan. Uh, you don't want to be packed, though, so I don't have a choice. You should probably let me pack you. Anyway, what was I doing? Oh, you're the one that has the jungle. Mm. Unfortunate for me. Pod recovered. Mining pod, okay. Whatever. still six to seven now i can't even win against normal battles right now so why would i go on a six to seven i barely won that battle this is dumb indigenous life forms really really game terraform complete There. Turn complete. Production complete. Yeah, I don't think we're making enough money to maintain this any longer. So I'm probably going to switch back to actually having some money for a bit. Uh, yeah. 
So you'll notice that we do still have eco damage when I tell it to do that. If I tell it to go after food, we don't have eco damage. So I'm just going to keep this at low amounts of eco damage for the time being. Production it's complete. going to be a lot higher soon enough. Tchaikovsky Institute is finished. Um, go ahead and tree farm. Production complete. We have a lot of trees. Terraform Yay, trees. Complete. You're going to sleep. You're going to road. You're going to hold. Oh, I'm still building trans scout patrols. Whoops. I should migrate that. Upgrade to empath trained for cost of. Oh, no, that's the trans police. Trans police is what I want to upgrade to, not from. Yeah, Trans Infantry is what I want to upgrade to. It's going to cost me 160. It's totally worth doing. So our garrison units are going to cost twice as much now, but that's fine. I mean, we could also, you know, actually have good garrison, but we don't care about that. Nobody's attacking us. Except for Mindworms. And I, Mindworms do not care what your defense stat is. Nom. Nom. Of course, now we start making money again. Oops. Indigenous life forms. Nom. Follow the river. Follow the fungus. For I have tasted the fruit. Turn complete. Enemy project. Yep, initiated. that's what I was afraid Maximum of. Population. We are going to have to rush that. I cannot let Lol have that. And I believe our best base is still... Oh, actually, it's Academic Rock. Hmm. I guess that makes sense because it is having eco damage and it's about to skyrocket. So we're switching you to Hunter Seeker. Yes, project I know I'm going to lose a little initiated. bit. It's fine. It would be nice if I let it grow some, but... Honestly, it's just going to drone riot anyway. Um, doing that, I don't want you to move on top of each other. Two to two, you actually do have an advantage on this attack. Can I win? With my luck? Probably not. No. Forget it. Indigenous life form. Okay, um, you're almost done. You do have a tree farm, right? Yes, okay, good. Otherwise, that would be dumb. <laughs> Indigenous life form. complete hello Sparta you're not happy with me I'm not giving you money for 90 years instead of a hundred though that's a little weird yep that's what I expected to have happen Enemy they have ended initiated. our pact and Yang is also now Production doing hunter complete. seeker yep we need that fast um How do I want to do this? Project I'm going to switch you initiated. to neural amplifier. Production complete. We need better transports, and I don't have the tech for cruiser transports. I'm also hitting hab limits constantly. You just finished your hab limit. Okay. Which makes sense. You had a huge food bonus. Production complete. Um, Indigenous life forms. Nom. Thank you. Turn 
Terraform complete. Forest. Unit Hat. has required ability. I must have had a unit that was close to Spartan territory. Um. You're just gonna disband, I guess. Uh. Could actually use a second garrison unit. I'll just keep it there. Indigenous life forms. Indigenous life forms. I keep hearing things. It's gonna bother me. Um. Indigenous life forms. Um. Give me them money. Money. Give me all the money. Indigenous life forms. Turn complete. Okay. Um. How many turns do you have left? Four. Okay. Can I increase minerals? I can. By doing that. That does not change. It does change the number of turns. So I'm going to do that. Alpha Centauri is reaching Brilliant. Introduction complete. There's my alarm to tell me to start prepping for bed. So this will be the last thing that I do tonight. I have a bunch of text messages. What? Oh, it's just text messages for my food delivery. Okay, um, you've got a supply crawler. That's good, other than the fact that you don't have a way of getting rid of that stupid mindworm. Um, we're going to build a mindworm. You know what? Screw it. Why not? Actually, we're going to build a tree farm. We'll build a mindworm later. Terraform complete. Indigenous life um? Um. Indigenous life Ooh, I shouldn't have attacked. It worked out. Everything was a-okay. Um. There. You're gonna sleep. Indigenous life of course. Complete. The warrior's bland acronym, MMI, obscures the true horror of this monstrosity. Its inventors promise a new era of genius, but meanwhile unscrupulous power brokers use its forcible installation to violate the sanctity of unwilling human minds. They are creating their own private army of demons. Commissioner Pravan Lal report on human rights so something that i should mention is that sort of game lore wise i say sort of because it's not officially whomever the quote is attributed to is the faction that canonically discovers it first and uses it so when you hear lol complain about things like mmi i don't think i need to fill in the rest so um, let's discuss MMI because this is a very, very important tech because it gives us a lot of things to put it mildly. First off, uh, we have two secret projects that MMI gives us. The Cyborg Factory creates a bioenhancement center in every base. Bioenhancement center is plus two levels on every type of unit. So that alone is huge. Uh, Cloud Base Academy is even bigger. Cloud Base Academy is a great secret project it creates an aerospace complex in every base so an aerospace complex is plus two morale on flying units but it's also used later on to you need an aerospace complex in order to be able to launch satellites so aerospace complexes are going to be needed all over the place this gives it to you for free in addition we get the copter chassis 
The copter chassis is by far the single most overpowered unit in SMAC. Nothing else is close. You take copters and locusts of Chiron and you can conquer the entire game. No exceptions. You might need colony pods depending on where you're attacking. But that's it. That's all you need for the entire game. In addition, you have drop pods. Um, drop pods are, so Civilization 2 II, II called them paratroopers. They are an upgrade, a special ability on a unit that allows you to drop them a certain number of tiles away. Later on, that certain number of tiles away becomes the entire planet. There are ways of countering invasions like that, but on certain types of maps, they're not necessarily feasible to counter. So all of a sudden, war deck, you just get invaded with crap tons of units dropping in from who knows where. Pretty dang powerful. In addition, it gives us thinkers, which are our first upgraded um, specialty unit, which I'll show you in a bit. It increases probe team base morale. So probe team morale is how the percentage chance of things working works. So yeah, kind of useful. And finally, this is the tech that gives you the ability to have a diplomatic victory. A diplomatic victory, I'll show you in a bit. Um, for reference, we're going for orbital space flight. That's kind of what I was rushing toward. Um, diplomatic victory is one of the victory conditions of the game where you go to the UN and go, hey, look, everybody vote for me for Supreme Leader. If you win that vote, unless if you have done something really bad to one of the AIs that would vote against you, you win the game. I did mention that we haven't hit the midpoint of the game yet, right? Yeah. Anyway, um, we're going to build orbital space flight. And the reason why is that this sky hydroponics lab. So first off, uh, orbital space flight gives you the missile type of unit. Missiles can have one of two forms. They can either be conventional or planet busters. Conventional unit, uh, conventional missiles are work very similar to older Civ games where you have a missile, it's a one-use unit, it blows something up or it does a lot of damage. Planet busters, on the other hand, are very, very different. Planet busters are this game's equivalent of nukes. Once more, I did mention we haven't hit the halfway point yet, right? So planet busters make a hole in the damn planet. There will not be a base where that planet buster blew up at. They are considered an atrocity, and not just an atrocity, but an atrocity so heinous that you might still have everybody declare war on you for using them. I have actually had an AI use Planet Busters on me before. It sucks. Um, here's the fun part about Planet Busters. It will lower your overall score. It also greatly increases the amount of eco damage that you do, but the reason why it lowers your score is that there won't be a city there anymore. It makes a hole in the planet which means you're not capturing the city and you're not getting all of its spoils. So planet busters, I do not use them. I actually don't use missiles at all. Um, Sky hydroponics labs, on the other hand, are the reason why I go for it. That's a satellite. As I mentioned, you need to have an aerospace complex in order to have a satellite. And what it does is exactly what it says here. Plus one nutrient on every single one of your bases. You can... And a base can use a number of sky hydroponics labs equal to their population. You have a 10 population base. You can have 10 different labs affecting that base. They can be built anywhere across your empire, even in the same place 10 times. It does not matter. And hey, look, free food. There's also the equivalent for energy and minerals. And the minerals one also increases your safe minerals limit by one. So it's or clean minerals limit. So it kind of balances itself out, but not really. Um, also, the first uh, satellite that gets built gives you the entire world map, which is the reason why I want to build it, so I know what where the hell anybody else is. <laughs> so yeah. Um, very important to me. What do I want to do this on? Right. Invalid terraform. I think I want to flatten it. Okay. 
Terraform complete. Indigenous life forms. Not quite yet. I can level it up a little bit more. Indigenous life forms. Mine apparently. Um, who owns this? Academy Park. Um, I have enough free minerals, so that's not a big deal. Indigenous life forms. Give me money. Indigenous life forms. Give me more money. Ugh. Need to heal that unit. Um, forest. Make it better garrison. Turn complete. Yep, I knew I was going to lose a rover. It's fine. Production complete. All right, we got a research hospital, which means you're back in the business of building cool stuff. You know, so we have a lot more options now compared to what we used to. Um, I'm actually not going to build the Cloud Base Academy here. I'm going to build the Cyborg Factory here, and I've Project got a reason for it. Initiated. It's because I've already started the Neural Amplifier, and that one has fewer turns left. I'd rather have that. Um, try building damn skimship again. This is getting ridiculous. Built up here, I suppose. Kind of want to know what's over here, though. Terraform complete. You know what? No, you're building a damn mindworm. Request you're gonna rush it even. All but twenty-eight, so that's one fourteen. I missed it. Request confirmation. Cannot execute order. See, you can't hurry more than once per turn. That's okay. It'll be two turns instead of one. It'll be fine. Also, we're at N for our random character now, I just noticed. Let's heal some units up. Terraform complete. Indigenous life forms. You need to heal. You don't need to heal. You need to heal. Marine biology lab. There we go. And your unit is... Should actually be trans infantry. Actually, does it... I'd prefer trans on these units. Just because there's going to be a lot of random aliens that I'm going to be fighting. Indigenous life Speaking of. Xenofungal Bloom, thanks. Complete. That adds more roads. Okay, um, what I was doing. So, here. We have 17 turns remaining. And you can switch between secret projects as much as you want. Project. So, Indigenous. I'm going to switch that to the Cloud Base Academy. And let's check up on Hunter Seeker. Hunter Seeker has 10 turns energy. left. We don't quite have enough money, but we're really close. Also, we're now doing 13 echo damage a turn because the borehole finished. Um, so we are going to change a couple of things. We're going to temporarily get a bunch of money next turn. Uh, this is just to ensure that we can afford to buy off the Hunter Seeker. We're going to only going to keep money for two turns like this. I think two turns. So yeah, we're making 101 per turn now. I'm gonna lose that unit. Yeah. Up. Oh. Natalia, I need you to join Dr. Fedorov's team at University Base, you say, indicating a base in the secure zone on your 3D hollow. 
Standing below the dais of the, your audience chamber, your aide appears no older than she did the first day that she joined your personal staff. Natalia has, been, has clearly kept to a strict longevity regimen. Now at 173 planet years, one of your most effective talents, there should be a comment there, there isn't, she is ready for her first major independent assignment. Have I offended, Provost, that you sent me away? Hardly. Natalia, your DNA prints indicate an aptitude for the new Psy training. A genetic diagram swirls into view on the hollow, with the relevant portion of chromosome 21 highlighted. Dr. Fedorov and his military ecologists have been breeding mindworm specimens in captivity, and they believe that a properly trained telepathy... Telepathy? Telepath. Can be bonded to the nascent boil, making it an extension of the self. Become a mindworm boil? Natalia says, somewhat horrified. Become? Not really. Control? Yes. Natalia, the military potential of this discovery cannot be overemphasized, and you are the only talent I trust for such an assignment. We need brood trainers, Natalia, and I need you to be the first, the leader. As you wish, Provost, Natalia says, stealing herself to the mission. As she retreats from the dais, you are troubled by a vision of Natalia clawing at her face, mottled worms spilling from her eye sockets. You hope you have not signed Natalia's death warrant, for she has been a most promising talent. So, fun fact, this prelude, along with another related prelude, I did not know about until, what, seven years ago? Eight? The last time I played the game, basically. Because the trigger for it Production complete. is building mindworms. I usually build other forms of native life rather than mindworms. So, I never saw this. There's actually another related um interlude that i had not seen either until i had actually looked through the game files to find out about it provost sakharov inaugurates the university psi corps with mankind's first successful captive breeding of native life forms this would be a lot more monumental if i hadn't captured so freaking many of them already anyway trees So, that unit, we're going to want a safeguard. But anyway, we are boreholing. How are you doing now? Eco damage, four. Ugh. Um, do we have enough to hurry you yet? Yes, we do. All but 88. So, add 12 is 652. There we go. I do not want an AI to get that. That is really important to me. So I'm making sure it doesn't happen. Um, even cloud base would be better for an AI to have. Uh, this might be really bad. Yeah. It could have been really good as well. That's why I wanted to investigate it. Oh, you should be sleeping. Uh, rolling rainy over a thousand. You can... Do something other than forest, I suppose. One moment. Sorry, I just needed to sneeze. Um, okay, you have finished boreholing. You're gonna road. You've already roaded. No, I just don't have smack highlighted. Whoops. I'm doing well. You need to sleep some more. Rest, rest. How are you getting from the Marine Institute? Ugh. There. Indigenous life form. Like, that is not even close to where the Marine Institute is, so I don't understand. Ooh! Dimensional Rift has cloned our Mindworms unit. I really like that event. So, it will clone it including level and damage on the unit. Which, in our case, the level is Demon Boil, which is great. Indigenous life form. Turn max level. Project complete. Alright, time for Hunter Seeker. 
If I determine the enemy's disposition of forces while I have no perceptible form, I can concentrate my forces while the enemy is fragmented. The pinnacle of military deployment approaches the formless. If it is formless, then even the deepest spy cannot discern it, nor the wise make plans against it. Sun Tzu, The Art of War, Data Links. All right, we have finished the Hunter Seeker algorithm. Renders your units and bases completely immune to probe team infiltration unless the team is equipped with the algorithmic, algorithmic enhancement special ability. So we are basically immune to probe teams at this point. I have never seen an AI actually use algorithmic enhancements. They should. I bet Thinkers does fix that, but yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, I do like how that's a Sun Tzu quote because there's an opposite to the Hunter Seeker algorithm secret project that also uses a Sun Tzu quote. Anyway, we have finished that. Um, we need to... Oh, wow. You're actually still faster at building cloud base. This is ridiculous. Um, honestly? <sighs> Let's do that. Terraform complete. All right. We have yet another borehole. Which is not going to do great for the eco damage of this place. I need to get that eco damage down pretty quickly. That's going to be annoying. 13 is a lot of eco damage to me. And we're not building things fast enough to drop that. So that's probably going to be our next priority on tech. Speaking of, we should get that back up. we have a decent buffer of money. Indigenous life forms. Still better to attack than to defend. You're going to sit there to heal up. You're done. How about you move over to there? Bot recovered. Free chaos skim ship. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. <laughs> Life Wait, how close are we to the tech? Six more years? Yeah, that's fine. And... Alright. Um, looks like nobody's building any secret projects other than us. That's good. I'm thinking I might want to switch over to Siam. Project so the reason why I'm switching over to Cy or Neuralamp, not Cyamp, um, the reason why I'm switching is because an AI is more likely to be able to complete Neural that one. Resources. Oh, a free Unity Scout Chopper. So this is going to be awkward. Uh, how close am I to Marine Institute? 28. And I'm moving sixes. That's not going to make it. Hate it when that happens. So Turn this complete. is a chopper. Um, I had meant to describe what choppers were before. So this one only has six movement and counts as a SAM unit, which means that it actually attacks other air units. So this is a really bad unit, by the way. Um, let's go ahead and get into their designer because we need to build copters anyway. So the unit is this. It's a gun lifter, basically. This is a garbage unit, by the way. We do not want SAM units. Um, you'll notice it actually drops the movement speed by two. When you have SAM on top of it, 
what we actually want is it's going to end up resembling this. Um, do we want any of those abilities right now? Not particularly. So you'll notice that we have the ability to gas people for um, extra atrocity fun. I actually do like using gas units when I'm up against, uh, when I can basically make atrocities, uh, which is usually just when I'm fighting the aliens. And I don't mean the native life. I mean the progenitor race, because nobody cares if you commit atrocities on them, apparently. Anyway, um, copters are very powerful for one reason, one reason only. They're a flying unit that has eight movement, and all eight of them can be attacks. If they don't land in a base at end of turn, they take damage. That's what happened to this unit. And that's why it's not going to be able to make it back to a base, because my bases are too far away. But... I get some scouting out of it, and that's going to be important. Um, we are going to need to prototype this at some point. What else do we need to prototype? Uh, needle jet. So needle jets are... They move out, attack once, and then the next turn they can move back. If they don't move back at the end of the second turn, they run out of fuel and die. Needle jets are useful for very specific situations. Very very specific situations and otherwise copters are almost always better the specific si situation in question is that this is something that the game never tells you that you can do you can absolutely build a colony on a needle jet send it off to a location and build the base there or send it off and rather than returning it to base the next turn move it a little bit further away and then build your base it means that you have a long-range, quick colony pod. The downside is that it costs 190 resources right now. Later on, as opposed to 30, uh, later on, that resource cost will greatly decrease where it'll be worth doing, but right now it's not going to be, which is why I'm not going to bother building it. Um, you can technically do this, but you'll notice that cargo is only one. That's not exactly great, but you could do a transport that just sends somebody four movement away. Now you see what I mean by this isn't useful. I suppose the 10 movement, which it normally is. Um, it's useless as a terraformer. You can do a probe team. No, you can't. That's right. Uh, you can do a supply transport. This is useful only for secret projects. If you need to have a bunch of bases all contribute to a secret project at once and you're island hopping, this is not necessarily the worst thing in the world because the cost is what's going to be contributed to the secret project that you end up in. So having it cost a whole bunch is not really that big of a deal. But let's be honest, that's a useless ability. Turn complete. Maximum population reached. All right. Let's try this stupid skimship thing again. Um, yeah, you're starting to run low on resources because of all the stupid things over here. Production complete. Um, Terraform complete. You've got a hole. You should attack that unit and level up. Good. You need to sleep. Okay. Now that I generally see the area, we're gonna build, I guess, here. These are not good base spots. I just wanted to see what was there. None of these are good base spots. Yay, friends. Indigenous More friends. Turn complete. Yes, lol. I don't particularly like Morgan.
I probably should have renounced the pact already. Oh, crap. You have fusion power. So, missile speedier. So, six is the attack power, one is the defense power, two is the movement. The times two indicates that Lal has fusion. We need to get on his good side for tech. I will totally trade you air power for fusion. Thank you. Our ancestors harnessed the power of a sun, and so again shall we. Commissioner Previn Lal, the science of our fathers. Welcome to the midpoint of the game. Fusion power is so in base Mac without any mods is such a huge jump in power that it effectively delineates the mid part of the game. And the reason why is twofold. One, all of your units have amount of hit points equal to 10 times their reactor level. Fusion reactor is level two. Fission reactor is level one, which means you've just doubled the hit points of all of your units. Two, did I say two reasons? There's more than two reasons. It increases the power of your units. So the power of your units is the weapon attack, plus some modifiers and so on, times your reactor. So once more, fusion reactor will double the power of our units. That's why I started going, oh crap, when I saw that Lol had fusion units. Because that means that he's got more powerful units than we do now. Although he doesn't have good defense. So, in addition, on top of all of that, fusion power reduces the cost of units. Remember when we were seeing those 220 cost needle jets? I'll show you in a bit. Also, I should scroll down so you can see the rest of this. Yes, I know you don't like lol. Okay, you don't have any more technical data. Hat. Aliens fighting each other, as you do. Anyway, um, so that needle jet that I was talking about. So that was a needle jet with supply transport. Notice it now costs 130 instead of 220. Yeah, so fusion reactors will decrease the cost of all units, but increase the minimum cost. So for an example, a fusion scout patrol instead of it costing 10, now costs 30. So minimum cost for a fusion unit is 30. So anything that normally costs less than 30 is now going to cost 30. Anything that costs more than 30 might also end up costing 30. Um, I have the game set to not automatically design units for me. I think I neglected to mention that in this run. I mentioned it in the previous run. But normally, every time you get a new weapon, every time you get a new ability, every time you get a new pretty much everything, the game will just design gobs and gobs of units for you until you run out of unit slots. I hate that. So instead, I design all of my units myself. I just design them as I needed. You cannot stop the game from designing fusion units for you. You've got a lot of them. So I'm going to start going through and upgrading. This is going to cost us a bunch of money, but you'll notice that that pod used to cost 70 and now costs 40. So we're getting a lot of benefits from doing this. Um. Yeah. I uh, know I don't have super formers. Um. There's a lot of miscellaneous cleanup that we're going to need to do. Yes, we're going to upgrade to the new Chaos Foil, which is a much better unit. Hell, I could actually upgrade to better armor too, but they're not prototyped, so not happening. Um, oh, I should have added in Deep Radar, and I don't have Clean yet. Marine Detachment, if I was fighting AIs, would be a good idea. I'm not fighting AIs right now. So it's not worth it. 
Um, police garrison, you're getting upgraded. go that is the cheap version of garrison at the moment um you're obsolete you're obsolete upgrade you You are obsolete. That should work for now. Okay. So fusion. Yeah. Indigenous life forms. Really died. That would have been bad. Yeah, this is the point where it's like this is not gonna be able to make it in time. So it has 10% of its hit points left. So it has one hit point out of 10. And only has six movement left and has more than six movement to get there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to disband it. Save ourselves some a mineral. Um, we're 47 minutes. Okay, we still have time for the rest of this video. Oops, did not mean to move like that. Um, these spots are terrible. So I'm not going to do them. Okay. Um, Terraform complete. heal, you're going to forest, you're going to wish I had more food. <laughs> Indigenous life forms. Uh, no, actually, I want you to attack. Indigenous life forms. I don't want to lose my special unit for reasons but I don't want to talk about Turn complete. Okay. Um, we're going to talk to Morgan and no longer be packed siblings. I don't think you're going to survive long enough. Please stop being at war with lol. Okay. Then I declare our pact null and void. So the reason why I'm doing it that way is that my integrity remains at noble. No, it doesn't. It dropped the faithful. Ha. Huh. I did save. Turn complete. So when you break pact, your integrity drops, which means that the AIs don't trust you. Uh, I did not realize that my integrity would drop that uh, by breaking pact nice way. So I have to get him to want to make pact go away. Okay, you only have one base. Uh, yeah, I can't piss you off. No, I'm not going to pay you to vote for me. Um, nope. I'm just going to have to piss you off some other way. Damn it. Production complete. Well, that's university based. That's not as big of a deal, I suppose. Terraform complete. Rolling rainy. 
It's not great on height, but I need food at the moment. Lab three, you're going to do that, and then you're not going to need food now that I think about it. Oh well. Um, you're going to food that because I need food for planetary archives. You're going too slow at the moment. Where the hell did that come from? Um, zoom to message. Probably nearby. Please don't die. You're gonna die. Yep. Oh well. Get rid of more fungus. You're now rolling instead of rocky. Okay. Um. He ain't even boil. Indigenous life form. Die. You need healing. But recovered. More xenofungal blooms. You do not have enough hit points to take Turn that on. Complete. Production complete. Starting to run low on money. I might need to stop running constant 100% economy. Uh, let's start building a fusion lab. So fusion labs, for reference, will increase economy and science by 50% each at that base. So in this case, it's increasing labs by 50% because I have no economy. Um, hey, look, me project being lay poor. Oh, no, I didn't want you to build a project. I, uh, me being lay poor in a smack in any game at all, who would have thought? I really don't know why you fungus or indigenous life form spawned. Uh, you're going to start heading back. You're also going to start heading back. You're going to sleep at home. You're going to shift E. Sleep. Life form. Okay, odds are 67 to 36. Keep those in mind, because that's actually not the odds. The game is lying to us. See? So what it is, is that native life forms, in addition to ignoring your attack power, also ignore your reactor level. So... The odds will no longer be accurate when we use a fusion unit against a native unit in Psy Combat, or really any Psy Combat in general, not just native units. So what you need to look at instead is the comparative strength. This is strength 1.04 versus strength 1.12. They have an advantage over us. So if we try this, we can win, which we just did, and leveled up the unit finally, but the odds are not with us. Oh. Was that our special unit? No, it wasn't. But seriously, game? We we had good odds. This is not good. This is really not good. Oh well. Oh, now the patrol actually does something for once. Nutrient resources. Turn complete. Almost done for the day. But recovered. Oh, and now an alien artifact. It's been a long time since we've seen one of those. Mostly because we haven't been grabbing pods very often. I've been slacking Turn on my complete. Um whatchamacallit, uh scouting. Just slacking. Indigenous.
this life form. That was a bad idea. I did it anyway, though. Indigenous life form. Um, um. At least we're getting money again. Okay. I actually did not mean to tell you to wait. But recovered. Okay. That is probably good enough for us to set up, say, there. How are we doing on cloud base? Nine turns. Not enough energy. Have complex is done next turn. Um. Ah, poop. Severe haze and clouds at the Marine Institute. Minus one energy in every square for ten years. I have often been asked, if we have traveled oh, yes. between the stars, why can we not launch the simplest of orbital probes? These fools fail to understand the difficulty of finding the appropriate materials on this planet, of developing adequate power supplies, and creating the infrastructure necessary to support such an effort. In short, we have struggled under the limitations of a colonial society on a virgin planet, until now. Colonel Corazon Santiago, Planet, a survivalist guide. So... As previously mentioned, we now have the ability to launch a satellite into orbit, which we are going to do so as soon as viable. Um, in addition, we have the ability to do a new proposal, which salvages the Unity Fusion Core, which will give every faction 500 credits. I mean, money. I like money. So we need to start playing catch up on some of these techs. I'm going to go with the initiative Project for the time being. Initiated. Uh, we just initiated a project, so the Cyborg Factory. Um, let's see if we can get the Unity Core salvaged. Okay, apparently a lot of people don't want to salvage the core. What do you want for that? You want either more money than we would get from the core or two different techs. No. Um, how about you, DJ? You want... Less money than we get from the core, but still a lot of money, or two different techs. That's dunk. Oh well. Just wanted the money to rush a secret project. It's probably why they didn't want me to have it. Okay. Cloud base, can we rush you? Oops. Insufficient energy. Uh not yet, but we might be able to rush you with some additional assistance. Terraform complete. Wow, you're really not doing much, are you? Oh, it has very little mineral production. No wonder. Also, luckily I remembered to look. You need those and you don't need that. Gotcha, sucker. Give me that money. Okay. Here is a reasonable place to build a place. Place to build a place. I am very lucid right now, I swear. We need to build a template for C. Let's just do that now. So, first off, I want none of this garbage. Um, Scout Patrol. Then we're going to go with a Fungicidal C Former. Then we're going to go with a Creech. Then another Fungicidal C Former. Uh, oops. Let's do this in the right order. That would help. Then a rec commons. Then a colony pod. And then you can talk to me. Indigenous life. Well. Oh. 
That alien artifact's dead. Nothing I can do about that. Turn complete. All right, we actually do have enough money for Cloud Base, so I'm going to hurry it. Request confirmation. Um, 480 minus 4 times 17. 4 times 17 is 68. 480 minus 68 is 412. Now the other part. We have 114. We are losing 61 per turn. We're fine. Just need to make sure we don't lose more in, than we have in one turn, then bad things happen. Project complete. I guess we're going to be finishing this off with the Cloud Base Academy. Existence. In two, I find life. But in three, I find freedom. Foreman Damai, Cadet Induction Ceremony, Mission Year 2216. So yeah, this tech is act or the secret project's actually from the expansion. Uh, which is why it's a quote from Foreman Damai, who is not one of the base seven factions. I also really like that quote. Um it's a good quote in my mind. Anyway, we now have an aerospace complex in every base, which means we are awesome on um, flyers. We will remain awesome pretty much forever. Um, it also means... Where's my... Oh, yep, there it is. Sky Hydroponics Lab. In eight turns, we get our first satellite. So next time, we'll actually be able to see all of planet. Production complete. Just finish up the production, and then I will finish up the turn, save, and exit. Planetary Archives, you desperately need a tree farm. Yes, yes. Oh, wow, we are a lot lower than I was... No, we're about right. Yeah, it's just warning us we're going to run out of money this turn. So we're going to switch over to 100% economy for a turn again, so we can afford things. Complete. Yeah, I didn't think so. You're going to stay for a turn. Somehow my alien artifact survived. Don't know how that happened. They must just not have noticed. <laughs> even though I know they can see the entire map. All right, we are going to stop this here. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.